Hello everyone, welcome back to today's more report on Monday the 29th of June with me, Rich Perry, Market Analyst at Handset Markets. Time for the Euro Dollar now, and this Euro Dollar has been very volatile today. Uh, opened sharply lower, uh, dipped at back to 109.53. So considering that uh, Friday's close was 111.64, uh, that's over 200 pips to the downside at, um, peak, uh, at its uh, nadir to the downside, and then rebounded actually quite strongly. And it's currently only 70 pips down, so it's retraced a lot of that move. Interesting, I think, will be come will be the gap. That gap came down from 11.28, well, say 11.30. So how um, the euro treats that gap? It got to a almost filling on that gap, but just within a few pips actually. Uh, 11.24 before falling away again. So I spoke um, on the silver chart about the difference between closing a gap and filling a gap. Closing a gap is bearish or in this situation, sorry, closing a gap is a reversal of the gap, basically where you, um, say for example, had a closing level above 11.30 today, that would be a closing of the gap, that would be a bullish reversal because obviously the gap was a bearish gap but if it fills the gap which is 11.30 and then closes back below 11.30 again that would be a a bearish fill so you need to, um, to have the distinction between those two uh, different gap treatments today now we've had a significant um, move to the downside obviously the 1060 uh, sorry 1050 key pivot level is still in play on this chart yes you did have a move below that pivot but um, you're sort of back above it now, so I think that is still um, it, still a part to play in this chart. One oh, uh, sorry, one ten fifty on this chart. So trading above that, you're still relatively positive actually on the euro. Um, mo momentum indicators have taken a turn for the worse, but not bearish yet. RSI is around uh, still above forty, or it has has recovered obviously because it was much lower than that earlier but on a daily basis on a closing basis if you see it um, the euro closing around here that would still be relatively sort of neutral momentum because you're still above 40 below 60 so sort of still in range play territory and you're back above that pivot again so this is an important important aspect of the trading i first of all where you where you see the um the close tonight if it's still below that 11:30 level that is still considered to be a relatively bearish move but you're still in the pl in playing around with this pivot level so until you sort of see a move below 110.50 i would still say that you're relatively okay on the euro and um, the reaction obviously was sharply lower this morning but you've recovered significantly since then um, and uh, it'll be very interesting to see how the reaction continues to play out today but at the moment we're still trying to recover that gap and um, we haven't yet filled it or closed it so I wish you good luck in your trading today and I will speak to you later. Thank you.